In this video today, I'm gonna to give you my on-course review of the brand new Melissi PF260 laser rangefinder. Now this currently retails in the UK on Amazon for 150 pounds. And at the moment, as the time of filming this video, there's even an offer to get an extra 25 pounds off. So we're out here on the course, Let's give it an on-course review. I've used it for quite a few rounds now, so I can tell you what I like about it, a few features that you're gonna need to know before you buy it, and how it actually performs. Now, in my last Melissi rangefinder review, I actually ended up falling down a hole, and I very nearly broke my leg. me! So we're gonna try and avoid doing anything like that today, as I go down a big hill. So, sorry, might not have the same entertainment value, probably won't see me break my leg, but you never know. Let's hope not. Before we get actually into the details of the new Melissi, we're here on the first tee. Let's actually show you how quick and easy it is to use. So here we go, we're on the yellows and I've got it on flag lock mode. All you do is just hold the laser button and hover around the flag and it will pick it up. That's it, look at that, 162 yards. It's actually 159 playing 162 with the slope mode. So you can feel that there, it's got a little jolt in it. Sorry, you can't feel that obviously, you're watching this video. But it's got a little jolt so when it locks onto the flag, it gives you that little buzz confirms that you've locked onto the flag. And actually, for a cheaper rangefinder, that's quite a satisfying jolt. It's got a good amount of power to it, actually. So that's pretty good. I think we should put it through its real paces. Let's give it a serious test. So I'm coming up here to a par four. So it's 362 yards from the yellows. So let's actually see how it performs. And I've got my Bushnell with me as well. I've got a Tor V5 Shift, which is a premium laser rangefinder. Let's see how the two compare side by side. So we'll start with the Melissi. Here we go. So we're on the yellows, just slightly in front and with slope mode on, here we go. Okay, so it's pretty shaky, but it's picked up the flag saying it's 404 with slope turned on. We'll try it again just to see how consistent it is. Okay, so 413 this time, so it's kind of, you know, nine yard difference. We'll try it again, third time, 397. But it's given me a range of, what's that? Kind of around 15 yards difference. Okay, so here we go, we're gonna try the Bushnell now. Okay, so 395 it's told me, we're gonna try it again. There we go, so that's come up 401, and we're gonna try it again. 403. Okay, so there's still a little bit of difference as well with the Bushnell, but you can see that those tolerances are far, far closer. And I've got to say, in terms of actually using it, the Bushnell did seem a little bit steadier, did have a slightly bigger field of view. But certainly, the Melissi still picked up a flag lock, it still give me quite a good reading. You know, really, do you need to know the distances when you are almost 400 yards out? For me, 150 pound rangefinder, that's not that important. Now, while we're comparing it to the Bushnell, the Melissi has actually got an interesting feature. It's kind of copied from the Bushnell, and that's that it's got a little magnetic strip here on the side of the unit. So, same as the Bushnell bite system, if you want to, you can clip the Melissi to the side of your golf cart or onto your golf clubs if you want, and you've got your rangefinder there handy to use it. You haven't got to keep putting it in and out the case. The strip is quite a thin little strip at the top, and it does the job, but I have noticed even when I've just kind of clipped it onto my golf clubs, it can sometimes kind of bounce off a little bit. Compare that to the Bushnell, and you've got a big plate on the side of the Bushnell. So, for 150 pounds, you're kind of paying for what you get. In terms of some of the other features, this has got a slope mode, as I've shown you, so it's nice and easy to use, and kind of helps when you're out on the course to give you a more accurate representation. And you can see here that it actually works quite nicely because you've got a big slide button on the side of the unit there. Now you've also got a scan mode, so if you want to kind of get the yardages of bunkers or a tree or a hazard or something like that, you can just use the scan function. So you keep your finger on a button and it will just keep updating the yardages for you. And you've also got a speed measurement. So that's more to do with hunting where these are all kind of made generically, either for golf or hunting, so you're never gonna use the speed measurement here. You've also got a height measurement as well. Again, I'm not really gonna see a place where I'm really gonna use the height measurement. When you actually look down the viewfinder, it's nice and clear, plenty clear enough for 150 pounds. I haven't got any issue with it whatsoever. It's not got the greatest field of view. As I said, the Bushnell kind of feels that it's got a little bit more of a wider field of view, but that didn't necessarily bother me again when I've used this out on the course. And as you can see here, it's nice and easy. You've got the big numbers on the top, which give you the straight line yardage. And then if you've got the slope mode on, then you've got the slope yardage on the bottom as well. And a nice big crosshair to make it nice and easy to use. I'm probably a little bit greasy because I've just put some suntan lotion on. You know, it's the UK, it's June, it should be warm. I wasn't expecting it to be warm. It's now warm. Welcome to the UK. Now, if you are finding this video helpful today, make sure you smash that like button. And if you are thinking about buying the Melissi, then I've included my affiliate links down in the description below. In terms of that slope switch, I think it's actually a really positive thing that they've moved it to a big switch on the side because actually when you're using slope, you're not allowed to use it in a competition. So you might have someone question you to ask if you've got slope turned on or off. And it's really easy to show them on the side, hey, look, it's off or it's on. In terms of the actual feel of the unit, then it's fine. It's 150 pounds worth. I'm not expecting the most amazing feeling piece of kit. You've got a little bit of texture here on the bottom, which gives you a little bit of grip at the bottom of your thumb. But in terms of the top, 
you know, there's no kind of rubber on here. You've just got this kind of plastic element. The buttons are plenty big enough and again, feel okay quality. They're not the most amazing quality, but this is more at the budget end of the spectrum. Now, one thing in terms of using this that has annoyed me a little bit is actually, it's just happened to me right now, is that the battery compartment is on the palm of your hand. And you can see here, it's spring loaded and must be the way that I hold it, keeps opening the battery compartment. So it's not the end of the world to kind of close it. You can see, look, I'm gonna do it one hand. That's it, it just closes and slides across nice and easy. But it is very easy to open, as you can see there. So it will sometimes accidentally spring open. Now that brings me on to the final feature of the Melissa, and that's actually the battery itself. So what you get is a rechargeable CR2 battery. So it's rechargeable with a USB-C cable that you get in the box, although you don't get a USB plug, so you have to use your own plug. Hopefully you've got one of those at home, but it's nice and easy and recharges in a couple of hours. Now, what's interesting is actually on the Amazon listing, it says you can use the rechargeable CRT battery that they provide, but also you can actually use a regular CR2 battery as well if you're in an emergency. So let's double check that now. Let's put a normal CR2 battery in it, make sure it still works. Here we go, I've got the regular CR2 battery from the Bushnell, so we're just gonna pop it in, see if it still works. Yep, totally still works. So there you go, so if you're in a pinch and you forgot to recharge it, if you've got a spare CR2 battery, you can easily use that. Let's do another comparison with the more expensive Bushnell. So we're playing a second shot here on a par four. It's around about kind of, I think the 180 mark off the top of my head. So we've got the Melissi on flag lock mode, on slope. So let's have a look what it says. So it's telling me it's 176 and we'll try it again and 177. So pretty consistent from these kind of yardages there, only a yard difference between the two. Now we've got the Bushnell. So from the same spot, see what happens. Okay, so 177 and 177. They're pretty much the same, really. There's only a yard or two difference. So that's kind of impressive from this kind of yardage. Now, one thing I did just need to say in this video is that for some reason, with this specific unit that I've got, the flag lock mode only works when the slope mode is turned on. Now, that could be an issue because slope mode isn't competition legal. I've contacted Melissi and they've said that because this is an earlier prototype model, that actually on the models that you can buy on Amazon, then that shouldn't be an issue and the slope mode will work no matter where you are. So just something to be aware of, definitely something to check and look out on because unfortunately, I can't really confirm or deny whether that's true because I've only got this prototype model here in my hand today. So what do I actually think of the Melissi? Well, for 150 pounds, I think actually it's a pretty good value for money. You're getting a lot for the smaller price that you're willing to pay for. Now you do have to accept some little issues. As I said, that battery case is a little bit annoying and it doesn't necessarily feel the highest quality. And the further out you go, you might not get the most consistent yardages, especially when compared to a more expensive unit. However, what I've shown in this video today, that kind of around those 180 yard marks, this is pretty much just as good as the 400 pound Bushnell. So you are getting a decent amount for your money. The fact that it's rechargeable is a nice touch. The fact that you can also use a regular CR2 battery is an even nicer touch. So for 150 pounds and currently on offer for around 125 here in the UK, I think this is a pretty good value for money laser rangefinder. Would I be willing to spend the extra money on this one compared to the previous Melissi, which also had slope, which also had flag lock and also had jolt? Probably not. I'm not sure I have placed the features of this at that extra £25 value. However, I suspect Melissa are going to stop making their old one, and this will probably be the only one that you can get in the next year or two. So overall, I think if you're looking for a budget rangefinder, this is actually a pretty good way to go. Now, if you are interested in budget rangefinders, then I've actually done a comparison video of the top three laser rangefinders that you can buy on Amazon for under £100. So if you're interested in that, you can click the video here. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel for the latest golf shoes and tech reviews right here on Golf Guy Reviews.